Yeah, no, it's interesting you talk about even our young learners being able to uh, sequence a video and, and the amount of uh, like spatial and cognitive thinking that's involved in creating a video because you have to think about whatever you're layering. I mean, uh, even today, I still have to be very aware of like, okay, um, you know, we, whenever you're creating a layer, a video layer upon layer upon layer, I have to decide um, where does this layer go? If I'm doing a text layer between a background and, you know, a, a motion title, uh, and then like a video of me saying something. And so it, it, there's a lot of, of critical thinking involved of, of deciding um, where do I want this additional layer to go? But then the great thing is, is you can't break it. You know, you, you can right. you, you keep right. iterating and keep moving things around and, until you get it to like, ah, oh, yeah, I, mean, I love, I'm constantly pressing the preview play button. Like, okay, let me mm -hmm. see what this looks like. Oh yeah, um, or, or let me try this transition instead. Or like, oh, I accidentally flipped that. I want this to, sh to be behind this. So I need to drag this down to this this track. So uh, yeah, yeah we, I love seeing even our young learners being able to make these like, really amazing videos. Well, I and, think like and, you were, I'm sorry. No, go, go ahead, John. I was just well, saying. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> I was saying, I was just when you were saying that, like it it even affords them the ability to be able to be okay with making a mistake because I can just go right in and fix it. I can preview it, see that that was a mistake, and realize eh, it's no big deal. I made a mistake. That that's how I'm going to learn. Now I know next time how to do it. It, yeah. it. it opens that up for them, which is huge. You know, we've talked before about Joe and I about kids making mistakes and, and having that fear of being you know, failing or having done something wrong. And, and it takes a little bit of that away. It's almost like working with a safety net. Yeah, absolutely. You're exactly right. What were you going to say? And, well, I was just going to say like, you know, whether or not they can do it or not, but, you know, to give them the opportunity and to give them the checklist, you know, mm -hmm. so, so to give them, to show them how to do it and, and mm -hmm. to walk them through a couple of times, and then maybe you don't throw them right into their first project where they're trying to explain what they learned in science their first project could be, you know, in the beginning of the year, hey, we need to, we need you to make that video to introduce yourself to the class. And it should tell us your name. It should tell us what, and then you have that quote unquote, one point rubric. Do they tell us your name? Yep. Do they uh, tell us what you like? Yep. Does it, uh, is it, is it under a minute? Cause I feel like that's been huge putting that in the rubric to have them really say, all right, I got 60 seconds. So I now as a third grader can't say, um uh you know like it's it's here we go <laughs> a b and c this is what i want to say and then all of a sudden you start to see these little kids going well can i write a script and my response is yes you can write a script you know and and let's try and figure out where we can put the script so you talk about you know like just the critical thinking skills and and i guess would that be linear thinking like if i do this then this 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 will happen or if i do this then it'll look like this you know so there is so much going on so at yeah. the end of the day did they learn that science concept? You know, maybe, maybe not. But did they learn, you know, how to think about, you know, how they're presenting themselves to others, how to, how to have one thing transition to another? Did they learn something? Yes. So what's, what's the point of school? Passing tests or learning? And I think when you start to look at things that way, um, you know, do I care about if they know something specific in science, like a definition, when they have every definition on their phone? where they could just say, hey, you know, no, but do I care that, you know, what they're learning is being creative and presenting what they know is in an interesting fashion where it's going to take someone and say, hey, let me see what this guy has to say. You know, like to me, that's real world and that's that's 21st century. And, and I know Ron and I talk about not we don't want to say the same thing over and over again in every podcast. Um, but but at the end of the day, you want kids to be 21st century learners. We video allows that to happen. Yeah, absolutely.